Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. And today we are outside of the first trip report that we ever did here at the Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino, Las Vegas. We're going to go inside, we're going to talk a little bit of history, and uh, we're going to show you around the place so you don't get lost in this gargantuan 43-story resort. But enough about that. Let's get started. Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. The Mandalay Bay is the southernmost hotel on the Las Vegas Strip. Occupying the space that was formerly the old Hacienda Hotel, the tropical-themed paradise has been a Vegas staple for over 21 years. All right, guys, here we are coming into the Casino Hotel entrance over here. Take a hard left, and then this is going to be their valet area here. So longtime viewers of the channel will know that uh, Mandalay Bay was the site of Mind and Wonder Woman's first anniversary, and this was actually the very first trip report that we ever did on Ace of Vegas. So this will be kind of a nice little blast from the past here. I enjoy coming to Mandalay. It's, uh, I'd say objectively, it's better than uh, the Mirage in every way. Mirage is still my favorite. So if you're looking for something that's got that kind of cool uh, Mirage sort of feel to it, this is the spot. It's a little farther off, but it's a little quieter, a little calmer because it's so south on the strip. But I think this is going to be a hot spot coming up pretty quickly here, especially once the Raiders are allowed to have... Uh, allowed to have patrons and fans back at the stadium. So that'll be pretty dope. Okay, and we are. The first thing that you notice when you come in is that the Michael Jackson One Show is here. That is their main Cirque show. And hopefully I think that's going to be one of them that's returning November 8th. And then, yeah, you get into the main resort area. First thing you're going to notice is going to be the beach coffee and ice cream, the ice cream shop over there. Unfortunately, that, that appears to be closed right now. But that's how you uh, welcome the resortists here. You're also, when you walk in, this is actually the beach area, meaning that this is where the pool is. And also the spa Mandalay and all that, the salon and everything too. And this is also the level where you get picked up for the Uber and the Lyft and everything. Or in our case, we got picked up by a limo and dropped off by a limo over this way. But yeah, the beach and the pools are over this way. Beach and spa elevators and you take those down to those levels there. But yeah, let's go ahead and get upstairs and check out the rest of the casino proper. Interesting thing to note about Mandalay Bay is that it's actually three properties in one. So Mandalay Bay hosts the Mandalay Bay itself, obviously. And then you also get to experience the Delano Tower that's right next to it. And the top five floors are actually the Four Seasons at Mandalay Bay. So it's three whole places. Also, guys, here is the somewhat hidden entrance to the foundation room. Before, this used to be like kind of a high rollers only sort of place here. If you haven't been to the foundation room, definitely check it out. I've got a video on that in the upper right hand corner of the screen. You're probably going to have to link a whole playlist to Mandalay Bay videos pretty soon. But yeah, this is the main spot here. This is Ace of Vegas' favorite hangout spot in Vegas, so if you can get there, he definitely will. But it's a little difficult to get to. So over this way, past the bell desk and priority guest check-in, you have hotel registration. All right. 
Okay, and this, this is the check-in area here. This is where you check in to one of over 3,000 hotel rooms and suites here at the Mandalay Bay. So easy to get lost in here. You also check into the Four Seasons Hotel over that way, because that's got a special set of uh, stairs and elevators and all that. But you guys are probably more concerned about the main casino. But yeah, while we're out here, let's have a nice look at the pool area. The pool area is beautiful. Actually go down that way to get into the Maria Beach. Absolutely beautiful place. Also, it's worth noting that Mandalay Bay is home to the Shark Reef with over 2,000 aquatic animals there. That was also something that we did for free using our My Vegas Rewards. I'll go ahead and put a link to that video in the uh, description box below as well. But yeah, you come around this way, past the guest elevators, and actually one of these guest elevators turns into the foundation room elevator at night. So that's worth noting. Uh, let's see. The convention center restaurants are this way. All right. So marketplace is over here in case you need any of your overpriced essentials. And that's leaving the guest elevators and the lobby, getting into the market. And now we are entering the 135,000 foot casino space. This place is ginormous. Only dwarfed by, I believe, MGM Grand. I'm gonna have to double check the numbers on that. But yeah, this is a really big casino space, guys. Thankfully, they also have hand washing stations here. And you know what, I elect to partake. So let's go ahead and put 60 seconds on the clock here. Wash our hands up real nice. At least 20 seconds on the clock. On your mark and set, ready, and go. Now the casino is a little quiet today because it's a Wednesday, it's in the morning and a lot of things aren't open. For example, the CD Breeze Cafe and the Noodle Shop are both closed right now. But this is usually a good place to get some good eats. They also normally have the Mandalay Bay Buffet, but due to COVID, that is also closed. And if you look slightly to the left, we have the high limit area coming up. Oh, it is pretty. Oh man, I love the bar. Okay. But we do have the high limit slots area to the left here. And then you also have the Bayside Cafe. Bayside Buffet right here. Now, unfortunately, closed due to social distancing because of the you-know-what, Arona. But normally, it is such a beautiful place to go sit down and eat. The buffet's all right. I don't think I've done a review on the channel, but it is normally such a beautiful place to go and eat, and it is such a shame to see it closed. I really hope that MGM can come up with an alternative and build something over here, or maybe open them up in some capacity, because it's such a such a shame to see the space wasted like this. But that doesn't matter. Not right now. All right. So we're back to the casino. 
doing a little walkabout over here. There's so many amazing restaurants. Like you have Flair over, well actually Flair's not over here. Got Flair over here. It's a Hubert Keller restaurant and bar. Which is pretty cool. And actually this kind of takes you down by the shops. That general direction down that way and that's also how you get to the reef. But we'll come back to that later. This is such a large space though. You got the Rhythm Lounge too. This place is always bumping at night. Well worth it. You also have a Wolfgang Puck restaurant in here. If you're interested, the Lupo by Wolfgang Puck is here too. There's also a nice My Vegas reward if you're interested in that. Thanks two for one entree. Or it's uh, $15 off, $35 or something along those lines. So something to look into. Definitely check it out when you can. But yeah, you'll also see that Shark Reef Aquarium is that a way if you go down that way so we'll go ahead and uh, like i said we'll put a link to that video it's probably in the description box i might put it in the corner we'll find out but yeah a lot of the good stuff lights down here this is a lovely place to be high quality high quality spot good family spot i think mandalay beach even has a uh, lazy river if you're interested Then we get some more of the casino. Okay, this place is just slot machines for days. Cashier and security is on the other side, so is the M Life desk. M Life desk is actually in kind of an interesting spot. It's past the eye candy bar. It was actually very difficult to find. Oh yeah, hang on, there is one cool place I really want to show you guys real quick. There are two cool places I gotta show you. Three of them kind of think of it. So let's go ahead and break it down. First thing I want to show you is the Bet MGM Sports Book. So if you take a hard left over here like you're going to Delano, towards the shops, you get to the sports book. Now this isn't quite as impressive as Circa Sports Book, but it is very comfortable, good place to have a scotch on the rocks so you can have a whiskey neat, whatever you want to do. But it's a good place to kind of chill out. And then you just, uh, you grab your drink. And then you uh, make your bets. And you enjoy the game. So yeah, sports book. Check it out when you can. Might even put a little bit of action down on the Falcons. I don't know. They also have the uh, ticket office here to Michael Jackson 1. And then, of course, you have the Michael Jackson Theater down this way. This is what I kind of wanted to show you. So if you see the Big Chill, Big Chill is kind of your landmark. You go left from here towards the Milano, and then this is where you get to Michael Jackson 1. Maybe that's where we should take uh, Wonder Woman here, guys. What do you guys think? Should we take her to Michael Jackson 1 instead of Milano? Let me know in the comment section down below once, uh, you know, once shows are back, of course. Unfortunately, it is still October right now. So the performances have been canceled, and MJ is uh, back on ice, rather unfortunately. And then that takes us down to Delano, but that's a video for another day. We'll that, do that another time. Now turning around to Michael Jackson and coming back this way, we're gonna go to the House of Blues restaurant. So it's a restaurant, it's a gift shop, it's a whole bunch of different things. I got some pretty cool guitar picks over there. Had to snag a few. They're probably a little overpriced, but you know. I don't know, don't know what it is about this place, but it always smells beautiful. They're just pumping perfume through here. Another good shot of the casino here. It's a very large casino space and it's very wide open. 135,000 square feet. They haven't even filled it up yet. They could probably triple the output here and they'd be fine. And then you have the shops at Mandalay Place. We'll go ahead and uh, walk through there on the way back to the Luxor.
So House of Blues, if you guys are interested. So if you have a House of Blues Foundation Room reward, you have to come here first in the gift shop to redeem it. And then you can also eat at the restaurant if you have a restaurant reward too. And actually, if you're getting on the tram to get over here, and I'll go ahead and put a link to the tram video in the description box as well. This is the closest thing to where the tram lets out. And then you also get the, the main center bar over this way too. High limit area over there. And of course the Wonder Woman wild plots too. Because Wonder Woman will beat you up. And then of course you got Heidi over here and she's a bee. Y'all know the word. Hashtag Falcon 2 Sand. Shout outs to them. Starlight tattoo up here if you want to do a quick tattoo while you're in Vegas. I'm not sure how quick a quick tattoo would be too. Believe it or not, Ace of Vegas does not have any tattoos. To everybody's surprise. Not sure why everyone's surprised when I say that, but I don't. So leaving the tattoo shop, you come straight to the tram station. And that's what takes you back to Excalibur and eventually to the park in T-Mobile Arena. But more importantly, it's got an Express to Luxor. And then this is uh, where you'd start coming out that way. But yeah, guys, let's head down to the Shark Reef now. I'm estimating this is gonna be like a nearly 30 minute video because there's just a lot of walking in this space here. Oh, also we gotta grab by the Wolf's Run, so high limit rooms in there, but here's an interesting thing. Wolf's Run, <laughs> this is actually where I got my first uh, jackpot. I think it was $400 back in my very first trip in Vegas. And this is, I don't think it's this exact machine, but this was the machine. I actually won my first uh, my first big win on, so that was pretty dope, and it's good to see those are still out there. I might have to play one a little later on to see if I can replicate the success. I think it was $420, just kind of playing slots, waiting for a drink, because you could still get really good drink service. All right, so House of Blues that way, parking, convention center that way, and then... Mandalay Bay Lobby and Four Seasons that way. But we're back to the center. Back to the Sea Breeze Lobby. Sea Breeze Lobby. <laughs> the Sea Breeze Cafe. Right past the lobby there. All right, now that we've seen that, let's go ahead and go check out Shark Reef. So once you leave the casino, you want to go to Musia. You go around Rhythm and Rips, and then you come back out. If you hit Citizens, finally, you take a left down that way. And eventually, you get to the Convention Center space, as well as the Shark Reef Aquarium. So if you have young children, or if you just think sharks are cool, like uh, me and the wife do. Actually, we have both. <laughs> young child and uh, sharks. <laughs> we are shark fans. So there we go. And then you have all the other lovely restaurants over here. Libertine Social I have been to. It's a nice little pub. I have not been to Strip Steak yet, nor have I been to Kumi. Which is odd because I really like Japanese food. But anytime I see one of these places, they're closed. Generally for lunch or dinner. But yeah, we come around Strip Steak here. And of course you can get to the food court. They have a nice little food court in the Luxor too. And it's very much the same stuff. I also think that they uh, have coupons too that you can check out if you order from them. So it keeps you going back to the food court. So if you're just uh, on a food court budget, hey, they got more coupons to keep coming back and they got the variety for you. So why not? And of course, no corporate mega casino monstrosity would be complete without the Starbucks coffee on the corner. Convention center space is here, so if you're coming here for work eventually, South Convention Center is that way, North Convention Center is that way, down the stairs. But 
I'm honestly not interested in doing the convention center tour right now. Maybe another time. I think we should go check out the Border Grill and Shark Leaf Aquarium because that's what you guys want to see. Oh, here we go. Also, here's a shot of uh, Mandalay Beach here. They got the wave pool and they actually do have sand out there on the beach. So that's always pretty dope. But yeah, you see the main wave pool over in the corner over there. And then there's also the main just kind of chill action pool here too. So yeah, Mandalay has definitely got the pools. They got a lazy river in there too. Mandalay Bay is an outstanding place to have a pool party. I love Mandalay Bay's pool. Speaking of Lazy River, here is a little view of the Lazy River. So if you guys got the tubes or if you just uh, like to swim through with, uh, with a drink, this is the spot to do it. Getting very family friendly. So if you do have little ones that are coming to Vegas, not that I advise it, but if you do, this is a good spot to bring them. It's quiet, it's peaceful, and it's safe. All right guys, and here's that Shark Reef Aquarium. If you wanna get that reservation code, now's the time to do it. And we got Border Grill over here. We also ate over here for our anniversary trip. And yes, if you guys are curious, it is vegetarian friendly. I don't think it's vegan friendly, but it is certainly vegetarian friendly. As they were able to substitute some uh, meat products for veggie products and beans and all that for Wonder Woman, no questions asked. And that was on, uh, that was on a Sunday morning, I think, too. So they were open for uh, brunch and everything, doing the weekend brunch, and they were just like, boom, like that. They were fast. Got the wedding chapel on the left hand side too. MGM, uh, Mandalay, and I believe Luxor all have a wedding chapel on site too. Just because you can't get away from those uh, Vegas weddings there. No matter how tired you are, they'll just sit you down over there and then they'll send you right back to the chapel. Alright guys, home stretch here. We are coming up on it. So obviously you also have the food court here. So the same sort of food that you get at MGM Grand and at the Luxor. I think they all lease space from MGM at the same time. So they all kind of got that space, Nathan's and uh, Bonans and who are, whoever they are, Bonanans, I don't know, I don't like their pizza. They're, they do not have good pizza, it's not New York style, it's not proper. Of course they got Johnny Rockets over here too, little Panda Express in here. Shout out to Simon. And then, yeah, this is how you get down to the Shark Reef Aquarium here. If you guys want a tour of that, drop that in the description box below for you guys, or it's probably also in the upper right hand corner of the screen. So, not pretty good to click on that if you want a little preview of what that's going to be like. All right, guys, we are back heading up to Shops at Mandalay Place. So, if you guys don't know, this is the fastest way back to, well, actually, the second fastest way back to Luxor. The fastest way is taking the tram. So, don't forget about that, especially if you've been drinking. So you don't have to pay for a Lyft or an Uber. You don't have to drive and park your car over here if you're at Luxor. Because the thing about it was when Circus Circus built this place, they built it right next to the Luxor with the intention of connecting it, I think was their plan. Because Circus Circus was the ones that uh, built Excalibur, Luxor, and Mandalay Bay, all back to back to back. And then MGM just acquired them all. So that's how that kind of worked out. And then they had all this great infrastructure that they could put in, like the uh, shops at Mandalay Place. And the shops are roughly analogous to, I guess it's like a more budget version of the shops at uh, Crystal, you know, the ones at Aria, as opposed to, I guess, I don't know, the Miracle Mile shops. I'd say this is a little closer to Miracle Mile than Crystal's is, but things are still a little hoity-toity. Actually, you know, looking around at this over here, this is remarkably similar to Mall of America, come to think of it. Not sure if you guys, I don't think I actually put up my Mall of America stream. I'll have to put up a little bit of that. So we'll go ahead and do a little walkthrough over here. And then we'll go ahead and put up Mall of America for a little comparison. Actually, you know what, let's side by side that.
Oh my god, that is so similar to Mall of America. <laughs> Actually, come to think of it, that was a very direct comparison that Wonder Woman made when we uh, did our little room tour. <laughs> yeah, she was saying it was so similar to uh, Mall of America that uh, it really put Mall of America to shame coming out to Vegas. Because that's the, that's the big consumerist thing in uh, Minnesota, and this just kind of blows it out of the water. But yeah, guys, if you're looking for somewhere to eat that's not physically in the hotel, check it out. They got pretzel land, they got fat Tuesdays, they got an Irish pub in here, and of course, you got the uh, rest of it. So, but we're back to the block store there. I'm hungry. So, I think we're going to spend a little bit of time at the pool here and avoid this last copyright strike because I heard that, uh, that music coming through. But. All right, Spanish and Sharks, until next time, though, this is Ace of Vegas, and I'm signing out. Wishing you all strong hands, and of course, happy spending, you guys. You know what to do. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva, Viva Ace of Vegas.